Nick, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, this story, it's going to be big. It's going to put me on the map. It's going to get national attention, and it's going to land me a job in a real market. I didn't move from Nebraska to live in some rainy big Texas town forever, okay? I'm talking about a market like Fort Worth or Chattanooga, okay? You'll see. That's great. We should probably show some respect, though. I mean, people died here, right? People, <laughs> people die everywhere all the time, okay? How do I look? You look great, Ty. Um, let's go. Yeah, I do look good. As you can see, I am standing in front of this now infamous Texas home, the site of Marie Strobeck's herring escape from a couple with a taste for blood. As was previously reported, the wife and the couple was killed in the escape. Kind of fucked that up. Uh, just take it from the top. Yeah. As you can see, I am standing in front of this now infamous Texas home, the site of Marie Strobeck's harrowing escape from a couple with a taste for blood. As was previously reported, the wife of the duo was killed in the escape attempt. However, the father and a young son of the duo still remain at large. As police begin digging in the back of the property, it is becoming apparent that Marie was not the first to fall capture to the duo. If you have any information as to the whereabouts of the father or the son, we ask you to please come forward to the authorities. Until then, we will keep you updated on this developing story. I'm Ty Ziegler. This is your local Channel 3 News. What was that? I think we nailed it. Great. Uh, lunch? How's it coming? Not good. We don't have a spare. Shit! How much further? I don't know, man. Maybe an hour? Hour and a half? What's wrong? Oh, we don't have a spare, so we're just gonna have to sit here and wait, get a ride from someone. <sighs> that could be a while. Hey, how about someone from over there? They could probably help us out. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, come on. Let's go see who's home. About this place. Huh? I don't feel good about this place. Why? What's wrong? I don't know. It's, it's I just have a feeling. I'm sure we'll be out here right away. Okay, if you want to wait in the car, you can, but we'll just be in and out. No. That's okay. Hey, you got me here, okay? You got nothing to worry about. Well, should we just head back to the car? Not gonna help y'all. Oh, Pip, uh, yeah, our car just broke down just down the road, and we were just wondering if you could help us out at all. 
Ah, well, I, I'd be happy to. If I could take a look, and if um, I can't help, maybe we can just make a quick call into town, get a tow out here. Yeah, yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. Maybe I can get you all some drinks. Just made some lemonade, and not be a terrible host of it, and then offer you some. I could go for some lemonade. It's great. Well, come on in. Maybe, maybe I should wait by the car in case someone drives by. Uh, don't be ridiculous. Much more comfortable in here. I'm sure it'll be quick, all right? Exactly. We're back on the road in no time. We're gonna be fine. All right, we just have to find a way out of here. I killed Rachel and Sean. Jane, listen to me. We're gonna die. Hey, we're not gonna die, Jane. else I can grab for you. So, how was the meal? Cold. Yeah, but it seems as though you haven't really touched it. I just tried it. It's cold. No, I, I get that. It's just that it seems as though it's been sitting there for so long that... I'd like to speak to a manager. Sure. My food is cold. Customer is always right. Really? Order up. You can pay here when you're done. 
Actually, your manager said it'd be on the house. to see how you were doing, how everyone was doing. Fine. Uh, um, I've, I've been saving up. I got a job in the diner on 5th, working nights, and I... So we're staying out of jail? Yeah. Hey, I was just, I just really want to help, and... We don't need your help. Mom, I... Is there anything I can get for you today? Hi, Jenna. Jenna Olson, right? Do I know you? Not yet. Don't worry, you're okay. I don't mean to freak you out. I just wanted to make sure I had the right Jenna. Just take a seat for a moment. Well, I'm on the clock, so I don't think that's a very good idea. Would a five-figure paycheck make it seem like a good idea? Come on. Have a seat. I'll be out of your hair in a second. Okay, how's this sound? You did some time. Got out for good behavior. You're a uh, burglar. Sound about right so far? All right. If you're not interested, don't sweat it. I'll just order off the menu. Yeah, okay, I am. I did. You did what? It, it, it was for a good cause. Robin Hood, eh? Yeah, well, my brother was sick and it wasn't exactly cheap, like so... Like working here? Making enough money? You said something about five figures. He's a beetle. <laughs> what do you think? Look, get some people together. People don't want to ask a lot of questions. They cooperate, you get a nice paycheck. No, it's not legal. But the good news is, it's quick, easy. Clean. What the fuck is this? You ever see the movie Ocean's Eleven with Frank Sinatra? Well, it's kind of like that. But the point of all this is, does it sound interesting? Get together with a few friends in a couple of days on Friday. We're gonna meet here. A library. It's 
what's going to be unlocked. I'm going to fill everybody in on what I need. When it's all said and done, everybody gets a nice paycheck. But if you're happy working here, don't sweat it. See you later, kid. That's uh, quite the lighter. This was my brother's. You touch it, and I'll break your arm. Here, let me see that. Hmm? These are easy. It's all about another pattern. Same thing every time. All right, we'll just line these guys up. And then, ah, uh, pretty straightforward. Then, voila. Looks great. Wait, can we just jump into this? I mean, I think everybody that's going to be here is here. Ah, there she is. Come on in. It's good to see you. Why don't you grab a seat? What is this? Well, let's just say that I need all of you. And it's nice that everybody showed up. So I looked over your case histories, and everybody's got criminal records. Getaway drivers, muscle, burglar. How'd you get those records? Yeah, the less you know, the better. What I do know is that you guys are all in good luck, all needing a paycheck, all willing to ask as few questions as possible. Yeah, 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 let's... So, what exactly are we doing? So in a couple of weeks, there's a jewelry store. Their cameras are gonna be down while they upgrade their security systems. I need you all to go in and clean the place out. I need all these hands to grab as much as possible, get out twice as quick. What about alarms? Like I said, you'll be in and out so quick it won't matter. What happens after that? We go to a motel outside of town. I made a deal with the motel manager. You guys will change clothes, wait there until the heat is off. My associate will come, pick up the jewels, and you can all go your merry ways. Then when do we get paid? On that day. You'll be paid cash, no taxes. Jewels seem worth more than what you're paying. Well, somebody decides to take their own jewels to get a bigger cut, their name finds their way to the police. Not just your name, everybody's name. That way you're all accountable to each other. So the deal is, it's my money or jail. What if we need to reach you? Not gonna happen, it's me to you. The more you're in the dark, fewer liabilities. Which brings us to your names. Time to get acquainted. First, our drivers. Tessio, farmhand. Likes to boost cars once in a while. Carlo, ex-dirt track race driver. Ex? They don't let me compete anymore. Why is that? Too good. No other reason. Might have done some coke before races. Every race, a lot of coke. That make you go faster? <laughs> Felt like it. But if you're worried, or square, I chew gum instead now. So are we done? Can we come back to the meeting here? All right, now for those that aren't behind the wheel, we have Sonny. Consider one of the baddest motherfuckers in the Midwest. I looked over his records, and trust me, <laughs> you want to stay on his good side. Fredo, man of many connections, apparently. He's going to get us what we need. Weapons, no serial numbers. Cake. Tom, did some time in the military, knows his way around a weapon or two. And Michael. 
young, inexperienced, a little sloppy, but eager. I like that. That brings us to you. Okay. Burglar extraordinaire. This woman has more tools in her purse to get her in and out of places than you could imagine. So, those are our names. No real names, no point of contact, no liabilities. Who's Fredo? You're Fredo. <laughs> no, in the movie. He's a character. Yes, but who plays him? This is based off a movie? Guys, come on, focus. So what's your name then? Does it matter? Uh, Godmother. Shouldn't it be Godfather? No, I'm your Godmother. I'm gonna make your wildest dreams come true. Like I said, we only got a couple of weeks to get ready for this thing, and I'll be in touch with all of you with details and updates. You're all gonna be held accountable for everything that you hear today. So if anybody gets a weak stomach about this thing, I'm expecting all of you to handle it. But it's not gonna come to that, right? Now, I'd like everybody to stay out of trouble for the next couple of weeks. But for tonight, go home, dream about what you're gonna do with your money. Hey, Mom. Sorry for calling so late. I, uh... I just wanted to let you know that it would mean a lot to me if you'd let me help. And, like I said, I'm sorry for what I got mixed in before, and it... It, it won't happen again. Um... Okay, well, uh, call me when you get this. Hopefully hear from you soon. Really? You're the hotel manager. Look, they just asked for a room. I, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know where they came from. I'm sorry, guys. I, I can't help you. Hello. Yeah, it's, it, hello, it's Gary. Uh, you say you can't stay at the motel tomorrow. What do you mean I can't use the motel tomorrow? Well, there's some cops here as we speak. I think somebody was dealing drugs out of one of the rooms. You know, honestly, I'm just upset that I didn't know about it beforehand. I mean, they should have been cutting me in. Okay, what the hell am I supposed to do now? Uh, hey, you got a pen? Yeah. Uh, yeah, my parents owned a house outside of town and with them now passed on, God rest their souls, the place is empty. Have your crew stay there. What's the number? I I'm on the phone. What's the address? It's 2210 Elm Road, just outside Devil's Lake. I heard it was an emergency. Will you wait? 2210? You know, they're gonna be really upset if we don't get all this stuff down to seven. 2217. Seven. Elm Road. Devil's Lake, North Dakota. That's right. Yeah, I'll just swing by after work and leave the doors unlocked for when they get there. All right, great. I'm still getting my cut, right? Because I was <laughs> looking forward to replacing my countertops. You see, they remind me too much of my mother, and I... No, 4%. 4? Four. 4. I'm not going any lower than 6. Still... Four. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, four is good. Uh, just have them uh, take their shoes off with them in the place. I mean, I don't want to really take them. Fuck.
Hello? Michael. It's your godfather, god, whatever. I need you to relay an address to the crew, and I can't get a hold of anybody. Oh, yeah, wait, 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 what, what's going on? There's too much heat at the motel. There's something going on with police there. We have to change locations. I made arrangements for a house out in the country. Should be empty, should be unlocked. You guys just lay low there until the bag man shows up, all right? Yeah, for sure. Okay, uh, write down the address. 2217 Elm Road, Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Got it? Uh, yeah, 2217 Elm Road, Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Make sure everybody shows up at the right address. Clear? Crystal. All right, good. go in the motel. What? Godmother gave me a new address. Some house out in the country. I, I don't know. Motel was too hot. Godmother gave this to you? Yeah. You're sure? Yes. Are you playing us right now? <laughs> Fine. You go to the motel. And then pass go and head straight to jail. Don't collect your money. All right. Got to keep moving. Let's go. You got a weird feeling about this? Nope. All right, grab the bags, get them in the basement, park the cars over there.
Michael brought us to some house in the middle of nowhere. He said something about issues at the motel. Yeah, I gave Godmother the address. Just wait there until they get in touch with you. You and Michael aren't pulling anything, are you? I don't know who Michael is. I don't even really know who Godfather is or, or Godmother. Look, just please don't track dirt in the... All right, everyone, listen up. I just got off the phone with the motel manager. Apparently, Michael was telling the truth about there being too much heat at the motel. So we're going to lay low here until Godmother's associate relieves us of the jewels just like before. But we need to go over a few things in the meantime. First of all, the jewels stay in the basement in the closet until we leave, period. In fact, don't even go downstairs. If you see anyone go downstairs, we have a problem. Second thing, no one goes out of this house under any circumstance. We are keeping a low profile. The only exception is when we have a night watch. Is this also understood? Now, when night does come, if you need to get some sleep, there's a bedroom upstairs, another one around the corner. I really don't care as long as it's not downstairs. Now I'm going to head up and get some rest. I'll stay up overnight to make sure no one goes near the jewels. The lookout can hold me accountable, vice versa, but we can worry about that more later. Is this clear to everyone? So, who put you in charge? What? You don't trust me? I don't even know you. Well, looks like we got some time to change all that, huh? So what are you going to spend your cut on? Um, my family. Oh, look at you. I'm probably going to get a car, like a really nice one. But I, I'll probably give some to my family, too. Uh, it's always the first thing on my mind. Family is very important. Sure. Wow. You guys sure know how to party. I mean, we're rich, and it's about as exciting as a funeral in here. Well, we're not rich yet. Yeah, but the hard part is over. We need to celebrate a bit. Let loose. Anyone check the freezer at all? Hey, look at that. If it looks like whiskey and uh, smells like whiskey, you know, I think it's about time we got outside. If anyone wants to join me, please do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you also heard the whole don't go outside bit, yeah? That's right. He did say that, didn't he? But last time I checked, he wasn't in charge. Well, what, what if someone did, you know, drive by and some cops or someone? What do you mean if they drive by? We're just some nice folk enjoying the great outdoors and some whiskey. What could be more harmless than that? Look, I think it's about time we all got out there, enjoyed some fresh air, calmed these nerves, 
I don't like to drink alone, but don't think I won't. And if Tom has a problem with that, he can come tell me. That Tom guy's not gonna like this. You ever kill someone? What? Oh, come on. You're a criminal. Don't be offended. No, I haven't. What would you? Kill someone. Yeah. You think you got that killer instinct? Mm, not a murderer. I didn't say you were a murderer. I just want to know. Would you ever pull a trigger? Let's say something goes wrong, or someone's in your way. It's you or them. Would you do it? I don't know. Even if someone drew on you? I mean, probably. Probably. I doubt that. Have you ever killed someone? No. But if I need to, I would. That easy. Sure. That's pretty cold. I don't think it's cold as much as it is logical. Mm. You know, I, I don't think it'd be that easy. Really? Mm. You don't think so? Let's say you're in a situation where it's you or them, they kill you unless you kill them. You don't think you wouldn't hesitate to protect yourself? Dude. Relax. The safety's on. So, would you shoot me in that situation? Sure. It's fight or flight. It's in everyone. You know, you're not very good at sounding tough. Where is everyone? Yeah, it was like Godfathers, part one and two, conversation, dog day. I think it was John something. I think you're right, but I... Uh, here comes Colin Powell. Great. He looks happy. You mind telling me what the fuck you're all doing out of the house? I thought we could all use some fresh air. You know, I thought you looked stupid. But at least now I know. Remember the whole point I made about staying in the house? Once again, remind me. Who put you in charge? No one. I just don't want to see some dumbass fuck up the whole deal. Now, if everyone could step in the house, that would be much appreciated. You know, someone of your age, I hear they're more susceptible to heart attacks. You should calm down. You calling me old? Just looking out for your health. I appreciate that. I think you should be looking out for your own health. Is that supposed to be a threat? No. That is no threat. That is a promise. <laughs> wow. That is super original. What movie did you hear that from? Get in the house. I will. On my own time. You think you're funny? No. I think George Carlin is funny. I'm gonna need you to calm down and take your hand out the gun. Now stand up. Get in the house. 
All right, everyone, you heard the man. So here's the deal. I'm gonna sit right here all night. Looks like we need to make sure no one goes downstairs. Tessio has been so kind to volunteer to stay up and be our first lookout. Oh, I did? You need some fresh air? Can I at least get my gun back? The one you tried to pull on me? Yeah, that one. Don't worry, I'll look out for you. You're too considerate. Now, someone else needs to relieve Tessio, say, round two. Who else is out there with our friend? Sonny, you need some fresh air, right? You can get some more at night. Everyone get some rest. Hopefully, we are relieved tomorrow. Hey, hey Sunshine. I'm gonna take your bag off. And if you don't stop squirming, I'm gonna cut your throat. Oh, no, no. What are you doing in our home? Your home? Are you the motel owner? What? You don't want to die right here. You best keep it down, right? Nobody can hear you out here anyway, you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> what are you doing? In our home, we'll try it again. Just lay low, man. Lay low from whom? The police. For what? Robbery? What'd you steal? I don't think I should be telling you that. Yeah, I don't care one way or the other. So what you're telling me is, that uh, y'all are hiding out here, but nobody knows you're there. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the point. 
<laughs> Say, you don't look like you're from around here. Where are you from? Brazil. Brazil. You hear that, boy? Brazilian barbecue. <laughs> Tom. Tom. I'm not sleeping. How's the watch going? Quiet enough. Hey, who's on watch right now? It should be Sonny. Yeah, no, he's not there. Sonny! Get the others up. We didn't have any luck either. Should we leave or? Where would he go? I mean, he didn't take any of the jewels, right? No, it's all there. He wouldn't turn us in, would he? If he did, I'd assume the police or someone would be here already. And I don't know why he would do something like that, do you? I think we should leave. Then go where? What's the plan then? I don't know. I, I just think we should be prepared to leave if need be. No, the plan is to stay here until relieved. Well. Maybe one of us takes a drive, splits off from the rest of us, sees if they can find Sonny. I'll do it. Jules can stay here. We'll be right back. Car won't start. What do you mean your car won't start?
You look worried. Well, I'm not. Oh. Someone messed with it. It's your hair. Okay. Come with me. Seems like someone tampered with this car. Now she won't run. What? Maybe Sonny messed with the engine. Well, he didn't go downstairs. He didn't take any of the jewels. So far, it doesn't appear he's ratted us out. So maybe it's not Sonny we need to worry about. Did anybody see anything last night? I think we need to leave. And once again, go where? Risk getting arrested or our car spotted? If we need fresh vehicles, we'll hijack some that pass by. No, this is already becoming a mess. We don't need to attract more attention to us. It'll be easy. No. Maybe we should call the hotel, see if they've heard from Godmother. Yeah. Fuck. So? Now it appears someone cut the phone cord. You gotta be fucking kidding me. It's not working. Did you notice this at any point? No. Well, that's great. I got a bad feeling about this. How long has it been cut? I don't know. Well, did Sonny cut it? If not him, someone here did. Look, I'm gonna try my car, take a look around, see if I can find Sonny or something. Why would we let you leave with the only working car? Look, man, if you wanna take the car, drive around by yourself looking for Sonny, be my fucking guest. All right, I'll stay here with the jewels and everyone else. Be quick. If you're pulling anything, or you're associated with anyone that is, you and me are gonna have a problem. Look, man, I wanna get out of here as bad as you. I hope so. Everyone get back inside. We wait till Tessio gets back. You wouldn't happen to know anything I don't, do you? I'm just as concerned as you are. I bet. Whatever this is, whatever's going on, you're not involved, right? No. I'm not involved. I mean, even if I was, why would I tell you? If this goes south, whatever this is, we need to stick together. 
then why should I trust you? Good point. Hmm. But when you're out of options, you're gonna have to trust someone. You got something you want to share with us? Uh, I'm good. Why don't we go hang out in the entryway, keep each other company? Tell Tessio gets back. Sure. Yeah. Sonny! Well, this is fun. Why don't you take a picture? That's okay. Say, you're the one who brought us here, right? Yeah, that's what I was told to do. Anyone think that's funny? that you're the only one Godmother talked to. He's on the level. I talked to the motel manager. Well, guess what? No one else here can vouch for what the both of you are saying. I mean, whatever is happening right now, somebody is up to something. And I don't think authorities are involved. Maybe Godmother's ripping us off, or maybe it's one of us. Right now? We need to stick together. We need trust. I'm not about to trust anyone here. What are you trying to say? I'm just saying I don't want to get ripped off. And I assume that feeling is mutual. Trust is what's going to get us through this. Trust is for fools. Fine. Don't trust me, but stop staring at me like you've got a problem. What? Paranoid? I just have a basic understanding of manners. You saying I don't? What I'm saying is if there's anyone here that I don't like, it's you! Then you should do something. Can you guys just lay off each other for two minutes? We're all on the same team. Hopefully. Why don't you take his gun too? Just to be safe. <laughs> Over my dead body. Okay. Stop! Both of you. Calm down. I'm just saying, I'd feel a lot more comfortable if I had my gun back. Yeah? Well, I wouldn't. Now shut up. What the fuck? Ah! Shit! Fuck! Fuck! Ah! Shit. What? I, I think my gun is missing. Your gun is missing? Yeah, I, I, somebody must have lifted it. You lost your gun? Maybe Sonny took it. I, I need to find my gun. I'm keeping my eyes on everyone right now. Don't worry. I've got mine. You feel kind of naked now, huh?
You need to keep your cool. I'm out of gum. I want my cut. I'm out of here. Me too. Shut up. And no, you're not. Out of the question. It's my choice. It's not your choice. We are a group. And I'm not about to let you jeopardize this group. Are you kidding me? We need to wait till Tessio gets back. This is getting ridiculous. I need to get out of this house. Hey! Sit down! God damn it! Everyone stay put. You were the big guy. Stay put. Where are you going? Getting my share. Back in the house! And do what? We need to calm down and stick to a plan. And what plan is that gonna be? I don't know yet, but we need to keep our heads. What if Fredo is right? What if Michael is in on it? What if it's not? Maybe you are. You need to calm down real quick. You got it. Hey! Stop! What do you think you're doing? I trust myself more than I trust any of you. I'm just taking my cut and go on my own way. I suggest you all do the same. You keeping us in the house is beginning to look more and more like a death sentence. I'm not going back. Last warning. You know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe I should go back in the house. Take your cut as well, since you're hell-bent on throwing yours into the wind. Big threat from a man with no gun. Take it easy. That's right. You're gonna shoot an unarmed man? If you're smart, you'll go back in the house. Let us take our cuts and leave. We are not discussing this. Everyone better pick a side right now. We are not picking sides. Three seconds to get back in the house. Okay, throw your gun to the side. Michael, you really shouldn't leave your weapon laying around. <laughs> All right, you two have seemed pretty chummy. Let's get you inside and see what you know. For the last time, you want to tell me what's going on? Or maybe your girlfriend does. Huh? I've seen you two talking the whole fucking time. You know each other before this? I don't know anything. I have never met this man before. Get me out of this chair. I say we just get out of here. All right. Let's get the bags. Yeah. Darling, can I get a kiss for the wrong? I'll take it. Next car that comes by, we'll take. After that, you can find me in the Bahamas. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Man, 
That is a lot of jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> and split two ways. That ain't bad. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> uh. You okay there, Tessio? Uh, I think my name was Carlo. Oh. <laughs> right. It's fine. I'll come to you. Fredo was played by Jean Cazelle. I think we should go. Good plan.
Why don't you come downstairs? She's making it harder on yourself.
Don't move! Are you with Godfather? Godmother? Whatever. Yeah. I'm Kay. Are you the bag man? Yeah. Can we please leave? The official body count around the property in Devil's Lake has risen to eight. Authorities describing it as a massacre with no clear explanation. The victims, all male, suffering from a mix of bullet and stab wounds, as well as blunt force trauma. If one thing is for certain, whatever occurred on that property, it could not have been good. Up next, sports. Stay tuned.